All right, guys. So uh, we did up this turbo yesterday, and I told you told you that I had a, a turbo coming in today that I was pretty excited about. So I'm going to show that to you guys. So this is what we got. I haven't even opened the box yet. Um, what it is is a G25-660 uh, Garrett, and uh, these little things, at least on paper, look like they're going to be awesome. So let's unbox this thing and see what we got. I think this thing is going to be perfect for our uh, for my build, um, just due to the the small size and quick spool, but still have really really good power making capabilities. So that looks like the exhaust housing. This must be the super core. Some sort of documentation. that. Alright, get this exhaust housing opened up. Let's see what this looks like. Oh wow. Looks like a nice little V-band exhaust housing. Really similar to uh, this guy that we just did on, on that, that turbo. So this is the .92 AR, uh, nice stainless housing, actually comes with uh, V-band flanges, so one of them is probably to mount it to the center section, I imagine that one, and then inlet and outlet. Uh, not flanges, just the clamps. So no flanges. Um, so we'll have to get flanges, but I think that I have the flange for the inlet right here. Maybe. Nope, that one's not quite right. So this other housing that I had must match the Tyal housings, and then this is a the Garrett is a little bit different. So um, so I'll have to find flanges for that. Looks like a stepped, like fire ring style uh, V-band flange for the exhaust. But all I need is flanges, and uh, so that's that's not too bad of a deal. Most turbos don't even come with clamps, so that is better than most. I guess for the price of these little things, it should come with something. <laughs> They're expensive. I think this turbo retails at about 2100 or 2050, something like that. Um, so they're not cheap, but they are all of the latest geometries and uh, and everything. Pretty well wrapped up. Yes. And the flow characteristics on them is just pretty insane for their size. It's definitely all of the newest tech for sure. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about it. God, it's such a tiny wheel. That thing is small. So here's what we got. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. Exhaust wheel is really small, but the geometry on it is very open and uh, and supposedly it moves quite a bit of air. Uh, just be, just due to the the wheel design, they use some different alloy that can take more heat. So they can make the blades a lot thinner, uh, which equates to more air being able to escape through the turbine wheel. Um, let's 
Let's see here. Look at that little sucker. So, in comparison, this is the 3071R. This is the G25-660. Um, this guy, as far as airflow goes, actually falls in between the, the, uh, the GTX 3071R and the GTX 3076R. So this actually makes quite a bit more airflow than this guy. This is actually rated at 660 horsepower peak. Uh, and it's smaller. So, I don't know, that's pretty freaking cool. Here, let me show you. From the top here, I mean that thing is quite a bit smaller as far as the housing goes. Already comes with a speed sensor port machined uh, for turbo speed. Uh, all you have to do is take this block off plate out and install their sensor if you want to use that. Uh, it's got your uh, outlet for a, you know, your wastegate outlet. Um, it's pretty freaking sweet. Can clock anywhere. Comes with fittings. So it comes with your water fittings and uh, the oil feed fitting with the restrictor proper restrictor for the turbo so pretty solid little package and I really can't believe how small that thing is it's tiny so that's pretty cool anyway so that's what I'm going to be running on my car uh, obviously a, a little bit of a step up from what I had um, but you know like I said I got a killer deal on this uh, from one of my distributors uh, actually turbo, turbo total in Germany um, check those guys out they are awesome um, especially if you're over there in Europe and Germany and stuff uh, but huge distributors super nice guys uh, they actually stock my alpha lock couplers and they're they're one of my best customers so um, great guys anyway um, yeah really neat little turbo I'm excited about it I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little animal actually. So I'm thinking my horsepower goals may have just went up a little bit, but uh, we'll see how the engine acts and and everything and and uh, how everything works together. But uh, I'm pretty pretty excited. So anyway, just want to share that with you guys. See you soon.